Good morning, my mystical family. How are we doing this week? It is Thursday already. Can you believe it? This week is flying by. So it is Thursday and I am here to do angel card readings. I am so excited to do these readings because I have a new deck this week. Yay! Of course, it is a Kyle Gray deck because you know. So before we get into the readings, let's go over the decks that I am using. The first deck and the main deck I use is the Keepers of the Light Oracle Cards, which is the tan deck that you see here. And I create a super deck by using the Archangel Cards pulled out of the Angel Prayer deck. So that's the deck that I'm going to be doing the main reading out of, the decks that I do the readings out of all of the time. But I just got the Angel Guide Oracle, so I'll be supplementing the um, readings this week and using the Angel Guide Oracle for clarification on our readings. So anyway, that's just a little blah, blah, blah about what I'll be doing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I still have that cough that doesn't want to go away. Mm. Sorry about that, guys. Isn't my little um, cat sticker cute? I love this sticker. All right, so let's get into the reading. I forgot to put down my crystal placer. Sorry about that. All right, we're going to get into the reading. Okay. So before we get into the reading, we want to ask our guides, guardians, and mainly our angels, our guardian angels, and archangels. We thank you for being with us. We thank you for revealing that which we need to know today. We thank you for creating this space where we can come together to, re to hear the messages that you have for us. Thank you, and so it is. Okay. So let's just shuffle the cards a bit. Are you working with the angels at all? If you are, let me know in the comments what angels you're working with. Who is your go-to angel? Um, yeah. Do you have a go-to angel? I'm curious. All right, let's give it one more shuffle and then I'll start. These cards never want to play nice and just spread really nice. All right, so I'm going to pull three cards. For our cards for this week, for our collective message. Three, one, two, and three. So I'll give you a minute to focus on these. Decide which card you're going to go with. So let's get started. If you chose, I'm just trying to think of how the camera gets flipped. So this is the first card. Okay, if you chose this card, and hopefully I'm right. If you chose this card, you chose Paul the Venetian, experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace 
waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Okay. So share your gifts with love, transformation, honesty and communication, and holy love are your cards. So... Paul the Venetian. Yep. I can never. Paul. Yep. Paul the Venetian is your card. Transforming love transformation rather holy love which I love I mean holy love that just makes me so happy holy love look at that beautiful card Ugh. and honesty and communication so, who do you need to be honest with? Do you need to be honest with yourself in order to transform some things in your life? Do you need to be honest with others in your life? Um, holy love comes from the angels. Holy love comes from the cosmos. So, this is good things coming to you. Lots of um, peaceful energy around you. Um, very positive stuff for you this week and in the coming weeks. So I feel this warmth over me looking at these cards. This great warmth, which is beautiful. Um, I'm just going to move these up so that we can move these more into focus. I feel this great warmth coming over me like a wave of relief, but almost like a blanket is surrounding me. This warmth, this comfort. Um, and I feel like the honesty is really with self. I asked that question, but I do feel like this honesty is with self this week. So we need to be honest with ourselves to experience a transformation in our life and know that we are going to be supported by... Um, know that we're going to be supported by our angels, by holy love, by the holy, whatever you consider holy. Know that we are supported by the universe and we will experience grace. Um, you might be afraid to be honest with yourself, but now is when you need to be honest with yourself. And that might include communicating with others. So keep that in mind that those are your cards. I'm just going to move them over here and we'll move to the middle. If these were your cards. Okay. So peaceful warrior, Ariel. I love her. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. Here's another peace card. Peace. I love that. And we are supported by joy and contentment. Isn't that interesting? Peace, joy, and contentment. Inner child healing. Ooh. And angelic protection. Wow. What beautiful cards. So, I mean, I think these cards say it all. I'm going to try and lay a box down so you can see them all. Um, peaceful warrior and angelic protection. Ariel is protecting you. It's time to do some inner child healing. And become joyful and content. Um look at that card holding your inner child that is beautiful joy and contentment look at how she is just standing there so content not a worry in her mind and you have these two angelic forces with you this week oh my gosh do you need anything more than to know these two? Why can't I get them in focus? These two are with you. Whoop. 
Honestly, do you need to know anything else? These two forces are with you. So, um, again, very positive, very peaceful. I'm loving all the peaceful energy I'm feeling surrounding this week. Let's take a look at the last card. The last card is Master Buddha. Again, a very peaceful card. Although his message has to do with increased awareness. So let's see, increased awareness. Ask and you shall receive. Forgiveness and understanding and intuition and downloads. So if you chose this last card, your, me your message for this week is that you are going through a period of um, downloads in your subconscious or in your dream dream state. You might be downloading um, information. Um, focus on your intuition and meditation this week. Forgive and understand. Forgive yourself. Understand. Um, understand others. Understand yourself, though. Um, I feel like this is really about working on yourself and understanding. And know that you can ask and receive. Be secure in that. That's part of increasing your awareness is to know that you can receive, you can ask and receive. You might not re ask and receive exactly what you want, but you can ask and receive. So you might ask for a million dollars, but you might not receive a million dollars. You might receive a check for $500. Well, you still received abundance. So keep that in mind. It's just what I'm getting in my head. Keep that in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading this week. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and hit that like button for me if you did enjoy it. Again, the decks that I used are all Kyle Gray decks. They are the Angel Prayer deck, the Keepers of the Light deck, and the Angel Guide deck. The new deck is the Angel Guide deck. I will be doing a walkthrough of it. Um, I don't know how soon, but when I do the, the walkthrough, through, I will um, definitely post it on the channel, on my Facebook and my Instagram. If you have not um, gone over there and liked my Facebook and my Instagram, what are you waiting for? Um, I post links to all my videos over there and I also post um, other stuff. So there's lots of information over there. Let's see, what else did I want to tell you? And um, I did post a walkthrough for my the new tarot deck I'm, read, I'm using. If you're interested in that, and if you missed the Tarot Tuesday reading, Tuesday, that's up. All right, guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to seeing you next week. Be well, be blessed, remember to smile, and try and make someone else smile this week, because we all need to be smiling. I'll talk to you real soon.